this week on Why Math. All right, I'm here at Cup of Coffee Studios. We're looking at all these exciting jobs. I'm here with my friends Molly and Charlie, and uh, this is just the type of place it is. You get to bring your dog to work, so let's go and take a look around. Typically in a studio we get hopefully three to five seconds worth of animation per day. So um, it, it, again at 30 frames per second it's, it's just a slow process. You, you need to take a picture and then stop, move your characters, come back, uh, take a picture, so on and so forth. Uh, the same process over and over again. So to get three, three to five seconds would be an, an ideal um, amount of time. So we have to sometimes create big areas like a, a big box store parking lot might be nearly a kilometer in depth that we're shooting. Um, to do that we trick the eye and we trick the eye by changing our scales. Well what we're trying to do is, is create a world that's believable so um, knowing that our, our puppets are uh, representing regular human um, you know, uh, beings, they're typically five foot six to six foot tall. Um, we have to create a world with all the things within that world, um, the right relationship to that character so that everything's believable and that we understand these characters for the time being are alive and moving around through that world. So uh, we have our, our female character here. Uh, we, do, we do a little bit of a a caricature distortion. We make her head a little bit bigger than it would, would normally be um, so that we can, you know, and that's a cheat that we do artistically so we can give a little more detail to her facial expressions and things sure. like that. Um, but we know she's roughly five foot six to six foot tall. Um, so if she's holding a guitar, for example, we, we know in real life what that relationship uh, of size would be. So we, we know to build our guitar. Uh, uh, approximately four and a half inches um, in size and that then relates in a believable way when you see her holding her guitar. Once then we, we know that that relationship and we know the size of, of the room that we're trying to create and in this case it's a it's a basement um, the family's just moved to this location and they've been dumping a lot of their old stuff down in the basement so we're trying to create an effect of uh, of overcrowding and uh, there's a sloppy individual that lives there um, so that explains the, the clutter so uh, you know we, we build a clean set and then we dirty it up um, but when I'm doing something like a, a wallpaper for example uh, we actually have to um, create and illustrate that wallpaper again at a 1-6 scale if we just went out to the shops and bought uh, you know, a paint shop and bought some, some wallpaper, the scale of that pattern would be so big that uh, when you saw it next to our little sort of eight inch tall character, um, it, it just wouldn't seem right. It, it would be too big. So um, all of that gets reduced down as well. So when I'm designing a, 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 a location, I have to keep that in mind and, and build everything and draw everything so that it's going to fit into that uh, world. We have a great collection of uh, sculptors that would, uh, you know, they, they could be sculpting professionally as a fine artist. Um, uh, they're so good. They take a photograph uh, of, of a character and they can, with a bit of clay and, and a knife, just sculpt out a, a figure in, in, in a believable fashion. Um, we have carpenters, trained carpenters that are building the sets, doing the actual sort of woodworking that's involved in, uh, in making a set. Um, uh, artists that are drawing, artists that are painting, um, everybody comes with, with different specialties and the, the great thing about a place like Cup of Coffee is um, the ability to share that intellect and be able to, to uh, learn something new every day when you're talking to your co-workers. It's, it's a fantastic environment to work in and uh, at the end of the day we're making great television shows and uh, having a little bit of fun ourselves as we work along. So um, for myself, uh, you know, I, I, I come home from work every day thinking, oh, I've done what every kid wants to do, build models and paint. And, you know, <laughs> um, it's pretty good. I'm, you know, and, and now tell a story as well. So it's, uh, it's everything you can imagine as an artist you'd want to do. Thanks for watching. This is Why Math.